Have you ever asked yourself if private education is worth its price? We both were studying in private boarding schools in Switzerland and today we will tell you advantages and disadvantages of studying here. I'm Martina and I'm Zarina and you're watching the Jewelry Sisters channel. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and comment below. Historically, Switzerland was a very popular destination to send your kids to study here. There are several reasons why. It's very safe, first of all, it's clean, it's very straightforward and it's prestigious. Well, the education also is pretty good. <laughs> On top of that, you could actually get a Swiss nationality. Before, the law was that you had to live 12 years in Switzerland, but if you were studying, every year counted for two. So you could get it in six years. But now the law changed, so you cannot get a passport after being a student anymore, unfortunately. Sorry. A lot of people would get nationalities just by studying here, and then they would go back to their countries. So now Switzerland changed that law, and you can only get a passport if you have a C permit, which is a working permit. So only after working in Switzerland, you can become Swiss. Tell us your incredible experience of getting Swiss passports. It's a shame we're not filming a video about your biggest achievements in life because this is definitely one of my biggest achievements. Smell it, it smells of my perfume also. It actually does! Anyway, I got mine because I studied in Switzerland, but I fell under the old law. Actually, we're in Lausanne today, and in my passport it says that I'm Lausannois. Lausannois? I'm from this city. So they don't take into consideration that I'm actually from Cherkasy, which is in Ukraine, but that uh, because you're Swiss, you cannot be from a different country, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> so I'm from Lausanne. Today, we are on a territory of my school, Collège Champité, which I love with the bottom of my heart. I studied here for three years before I was in another school and we won't talk about it. It's like about the access. You don't only talk well about them or not at all. I adored living here because it's kind of like a summer camp, but all year round, but you have exams at the end. What's also fancy about Swiss schools is during winter you go to a ski camp and uh, during summer we would do stand-up paddle on the lake as sports class. In general, Swiss schools are very diversified in terms of the activities they offer. Um, that's why an average price over a year in boarding schools is around 100, 120,000 Swiss francs for boarding per year. But you can also be a five-day boarder, like Zarina was after. Boarding school makes you very mature at a very young age. So you grow up so fast because you're growing up without your parents. So I came to boarding school when I was 13 and I was just living with my friends and you kind of have to take responsibility of your life in your own hands, take decisions for yourself. And yeah, this is why a lot of people say, oh, you're so mature for your age. I would say that big portion of why that happened yeah. would be a boarding school. One of the reasons why we can manage our businesses at such an early age is because we were forced to grow up so quickly. So if you want your kids to be successful and you're watching this video, send them to boarding school. This is my school, Collège Champité. I studied here until 2016 and graduated with International Baccalaureate. And we will show you a bit of inside, where I lived, where I studied, and a bit of details. Bonjour. Oui, très bien. Et vous? Bonjour, monsieur. C'est ma soeur. Ma soeur ne se souvient pas de moi, mais je me souviens de vous. Moi aussi, moi aussi, je garde que quand même toujours des souvenirs des anciens. Ok, bonjour. So on the boards here, you have names of all the graduates of Champité, and one of them is mine. But it's like all the way over there because the school is found. 19. In 19, 1903. <laughs> Advertisement. <laughs> yes, this is my old family name. And yeah, I graduated International Baccalaureate. This is a 
chapel at my school. Which brings us to another advantage of education in Switzerland because we learned values and manners. So we learned how to respect other cultures, other religions, how to respect older people, your teachers, how to behave. So we were not only very well educated, but also very well mannered. It wasn't obligatory to go to the church, but you could come here any time that you wanted to. It's actually visible in such small things. When I moved from Ukraine to Switzerland, the first thing that shocked me was that I had to smile to everyone when saying hello. You had to say thank you and you're welcome all the time, which we, I don't know, maybe it's a cultural thing. We just didn't do it so much. Actually, when I would pass the streets for the first weeks, I would see people saying hi to me. And I thought like, do I know you? Like, why are you saying hi to me? Because it's not something that we usually do. And only then I learned that you just say hi to everyone. And when I came back to Ukraine, I would be like, Queen of England, saying hi to everyone. I remember my first week at school, we had lunch all together. And when the teachers taught us that when you when you'd want to pour yourself some water, you first have to ask everybody at the table, would you like some water? And you pour it to everyone first and then to yourself. And the same thing with food. Whenever food arrives, you ask everyone, would you like some salad? And then you only serve yourself, which I think is a, actually something small, but it's as a value in life, it's very important. You first give to others and then you take for yourself. Okay, so this one, this is a common room where we could hang out, watch TV or just talk around or play. And each floor has a common room. So we could just, I don't know, have, because girls cannot be in the rooms of boys and boys can't be in the rooms of girls. So common rooms, we could hang out here and... Mingle. Know, mingle. First, fall in love for the first time. So another big advantage is the bonds you create with other students here. The students become your family because you live with them, you study with them, you go through all the traumas and all the joys of childhood with them. And because you don't have your parents that you're going to after school, this is your family. And after, when you graduate, you never lose sight of each other. So you have friends and you have connections all over the world. Yes, when the war started in Ukraine, uh, people all over the world were messaging me, asking if I need help. A lot of them asked me if I need somewhere to live. And um, that was a very sweet the idea that you could actually friends in every country that are ready to support you. And in the professional field also. One time I needed a new supplier for diamonds and um, I started thinking, okay, who did I know at school whose parents were also in jewelry business? I remembered a girl, I called her, I'm like, by any chance, did you continue working in your family business? And she was like, yes, totally. And she, and she had exactly what I needed. And since then we work together and she's located in the States and she's Brazilian. so. Nothing to do with Switzerland or Ukraine. Another advantage of studying in private Swiss school is very high level of education. The teachers here are incredible and also you can choose one of the programs which are Swiss Maturity, French program and International Baccalaureate. And also Swiss education is very recognized all over the world and you will get accepted to any uni abroad. Right now we're at EHL, Ecole Atelier de Lausanne, where I did my bachelor's degree. It's a number one hospitality business school in the world. And in order to get into the school, you not only have to have the right grades from the right school, you also go through a whole selection day where you go through role plays, case studies, and in general, they analyze how you can communicate with people, network, and a bunch of different criteria. So apparently you did well. Apparently I did well. <laughs> One of the disadvantages of private education in Switzerland is it's extra expensive, but again, it's worth it. So compared to a public university in Switzerland, which is a thousand francs a year, EHL is 30,000 30, plus the first year, and I think about 20,000 all the following years. But 
What's a good thing is that if you're Swiss or if you're paying the Swiss taxes, like my mom did, you could benefit from a discount for the Swiss people. But also keep in mind that people from public schools also got accepted in EHL and the level of public schooling in Switzerland is also really high. And some people even say that teachers in public schools are better than teachers in private schools. However, in order to get into EHL, you didn't have to go to a private school. You, you could have went to a public school and if you had good grades, you were accepted just like everyone. So in case you don't want to spend the money on private schools, it really is not a must. If you ever heard rumors about the fact that there are a lot of drugs in boarding schools or in private schools in Switzerland, unfortunately, it does have some ground. But drugs are available in any country. So what you have to consider is the character of your child. Uh, because if you see that a person can be easily influenced, maybe uh, private school is not a good option. But nobody is going to force your child to take drugs. It's just that they're, they're available. They're very available and there are some people who do it. We never did it, obviously. And we never had the... Uh, no one say? ever forced us to, like... Yeah. I actually had one situation where I met people from other private school and they invited me to their apartment, like, to hang out. And I, when I entered, I saw a table, like, from mafia movies where there was, like, this mountain of cocaine. And I got so scared because I was, like, 15. I was like, oh, my mom's calling me, so I gotta to go. go. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, shocking for me. Another disadvantage for a parent is that your child is far away you can't really influence their values. Their values, their character is built by their school and their surrounding. Especially if a child went to boarding school at a young age. I went when I was 13. I had some, kid, uh, some friends who went when they were six years old. So of course that your kids did take some values from the family but then you're formed not by your parents, but by the, kid, the other kids that surround you and by the teachers. I still remember the day when my mom dropped me off at school because she came with a taxi and then we had these little stones on the ground in the school. And I remember like standing at the door, watching her drive off in the taxi to go to the airport or something. And I still remember that the sound, sound yeah. the sound of the stones that we're taking her away from me. It was so traumatizing when you were a child. It's such a huge uh, problem, I think, for kids because you miss your parents. You're such a young, young kid still and you want to be close to your family. But at the same time, you also don't want to seem vulnerable. You don't want to show, like, you don't want to cry in front of other students and teachers. And also remember, when I was in school, I was 13, like you didn't have a WhatsApp video call or FaceTime that you could see your mom every day. You had those simple Nokia phones or something, you could, you could give her a call. Right now, we're in St. George's, my first ever school in Switzerland, which I have the most sentimental values with. One of the things that I remember the most about St. George's is the uniform. Uniform is something that's very common in uh, private boarding schools or in general private schools and I think it's absolutely great. The advantage of uniform is that it makes everybody equal. Nobody's looking which kind of brand your shoes are, what kind of jewelry you're wearing, are you wearing an expensive bag or expensive jewelry or something. Everybody's dressed the same. And we had to make, to put a tie every morning and we also had these blue skirts, I'm gonna find a photo. And when we were going down to breakfast at 8 a.m. sharp, God forbid you're gonna be late, we had a teacher who would measure our um, uniform length. So it could be a maximum of, the, of a student card higher than your knee. If you didn't have that skirt, you, would, you were sent back to your uniform to change. In Champite, we also had uniform, but it was only top. It was polos or sweaters and full sports uniform. 
But us, if we would wear jeans, for example, we couldn't wear um, holes, we couldn't wear anything that would show our skin. And to be honest, I just liked visually how uniform looked. So if you like aesthetical part of uniform, boarding school is your thing. And also you'd spend so little time getting dressed in the morning because you never have to choose what you're gonna wear. You're wearing the same thing. <laughs> Last advantage is that schools teach you structure. So if you don't wake up on time, if you don't come to breakfast on time, you get a warning, you get detention, you have to sit for an hour and do your homework longer than everyone else. Or there's also an option where they actually give you fines for yeah. um, not following some rules. So it's either detention and your physical time or financially you will get a punishment a hundred franc uh, invoice for coming to school too late or 200 francs for smoking outside. Or not it's making real. your bed. Oh yeah. So Zerina, what is the most unexpected disadvantage of going to boarding school or it's, private school? It's gaining so much weight. Me, I had to like a pre-review of that when I came to a summer camp here. In one, no, it was three weeks, three weeks and I gained seven kilos. And then when I went to the school, also it was like, also 10 kilos in two months. It's insane because they actually cook so well. Yeah. It's delicious. And you have this huge variety of choice that you can't say no to yourself. The dessert. So you first thing, like you go into the room where it's the mains and everything, salads, everything. And then in the end of the meal, you go into the dessert room and there's literally like, imagine Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Okay, to exaggerate a little, but there would be like 15 different desserts every night. It was so good. If after watching this video, you consider going to a private boarding school or to send your child there, consider uh, sending them to a summer camp first. And this way you can give the same experience, but the trial version and see if your child will like it. Because some kids don't actually blend in and they do not feel good when uh, leaving, living so far away from home. If after watching this video you have some questions about education in Switzerland in private schools or boarding schools, please write them in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye! Peace out! <laughs>